How's it going, everyone? Bass here. So now that the 15th day of Packers training camp is officially over, let's recap everything and go over the main takeaways from today's practice. Today was a super light, short jog through practice in preparation of the two joint practices tomorrow and Wednesday that they're going to have with the Saints. And if you want more Packers and news analysis and updates and also training camp coverage uh, such as this one, recaps and also highlights, I put out highlights from every day's practice. If you want to go watch that video, uh, just click the link right above. Please consider going down, clicking the subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications to not miss any of the videos. All right, so first I want to go over some of the roster moves the Packers have made. They made some yesterday as well as one today. And firstly, they cut kicker Gabe Burkett, who's been struggling all of training camp. Uh, missed a field goal in the preseason game, and they also have signed Ramiz Ahmed, a kicker, uh, most recently with the USFL, where he went 14 of 22, also had a long of 61. Obviously, will just be the fill-in kicker until Mason Crosby is ready to go. And today, they also cut outside linebacker Randy Ramsey, who just popped back up on the injury report with an ankle injury. That same ankle that kept him out all of last year just hasn't really been able to get back on the field. Now, the corresponding move to Randy Ramsey being cut has not been announced yet, but I would assume they'll sign another edge rusher as that's kind of an issue right now with some of the injuries occurring at edge and also a depth issue. And then moving on to the pre-practice press conference by Matt LaFleur. He was asked about Zach Tom getting reps at left guard yesterday with the ones in place of John Runyon and he said quote we're just going to work through different combinations and create as much competition as possible. So Zach Tom has nearly played every position on the offensive line thus far so uh, I wouldn't look too far into him getting some snaps over John Runyon at left guard. I still think John Runyon is the number one left guard and will remain there. Um, So obviously just putting Zach Tom at different spaces, creating competition is always a good thing. And then when asked about Elton Jenkins, Robert Tunyon, and Christian Watson returning yesterday, he said, quote, it definitely was a shot in the arm for our team. Even though it was just a jog through period and individual, I thought they looked good. And getting these three guys back is is huge. I mean, all three of these guys could be starters on this offense. Robert Tunyon and Elton Jenkins definitely are. And then obviously Christian Watson, depending how, you know, he comes back and gets, you know, brought into the offense and used in the offense, he could definitely be one as well. But these three players are, will be, you know, huge boosts to this offense going forward. And then as for some injury updates, first of which Don Levitt does have a shoulder injury. We saw him suffer in the preseason game. Matt LaFleur said he will be out a while. Um, defensive line Akil Byers has a toe injury. He was seen in a walking boot yesterday. Tariq Carpenter is out with a knee injury. And Innis Gaines is also out with an undisclosed injury. As for players returning, T. Penali, I, Dominic Daphne, and Juwan Winfrey were all back from injury for today's practice. And then Malik Taylor, also shed his red jersey, meaning he's cleared for contact. Now moving on to the team portions, and as I said, this was just a jog through, so not really much to go over today, but nonetheless, here are the main takeaways. And the main one being Elton Jenkins stepped in at right tackle number one during team period. So the offensive line looked as such. Josh Nyman, John Runyon, Josh Myers, Royce Newman, and Elton Jenkins. And I said this in yesterday's video, I feel the Packers will put Elton Jenkins in at right tackle to start, keep Josh at left tackle. Now when... um, David Bakhtiari comes back. Obviously, he'll be playing left tackle. Then they kind of have to go and decide, hey, do we want to keep Josh Nyman in this lineup, move him to right tackle, and then maybe put Elton Jenkins at right guard in place of Royce Newman. Uh, Definitely things they're going to have to figure out over these next coming weeks, but they have to get David Bakhtiari first back uh, to even have that decision. But nonetheless, Elton Jenkins today at right tackle. Really like that look, really strengthening up that right side of the line. And today, Aaron Rodgers started to throw to both Christian Watson and Robert Tunyon. And of course, it is a jog through, so there's no defensive coverage, but Aaron Rodgers threw a couple deep balls to Christian Watson. Um, great to see them starting to work together, getting on the same page, building rapport. And Rodgers also hit Tunyon in a tight window over the middle. So very clear, Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur are working to ease these PUP guys back onto the field. Christian Watson, Romeo Dobbs, and Robert Tunyon all were starting with the ones during the walkthrough today. So that's something very important to note. And then Vernon Scott still got reps with the number ones at safety with Darnell Savage still being out. But there's not much more else to talk about the defense as they're not allowed to cover during the walkthrough that the offense does. So they kind of are just there. But over Overall, just a super short practice today. Obviously kept it super light, no pads in preparation of these two joint practices tomorrow and Wednesday, which will be way more of an intense practice uh, in preparation for that Friday preseason game. So super excited to see these next two days of practices. Joint practices can get a little testy sometimes, so we'll see how that all goes, but uh, super excited for them nonetheless. But those are all the main takeaways I have from day 15 of Packers training camp. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, if you could please leave a like down below. It supports my channel a ton. That about does it for this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching, and as always, Go Pack Go!